Hello Dumelang and welcome back to Mgozi 101 with your girl Mimi Nobody. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button on your way out. So you guys, Ojeki Pamelzo went on to Twitter and posted the following. Io, I have watched these interviews on Katlaho's family, but the father takes the opportunistic cup. Man never went looking for his son, doesn't even know his grandkids. He didn't even know how to describe his son, but he's the first to want money from the state. That was her first post, and then she went on to post this one. This man didn't even go to see the family all year during his son's disappearance. Never posted anything but selfies online. He will definitely take the state money and leave it up in Joburg. I just don't trust him. The family needs to appoint someone they trust to handle this. Someone who claims to be close to the family responded and said, Please, not the time. I know them more than you. What you wrote is far from the truth. Another tweet said, At some point, I thought he's lying about being the father of the deceased. I went through his Twitter profile and there was nothing about his son missing even on his facebook yo guys hi this guy is doing the most shim he has not even identified the body of his son but he is already thinking about writing a book and capitalizing on his son's cruel untimely death he wrote something like this i need somebody who can help me write a book the title of it will be the gap my life has been full of gaps somebody please please tell me how and when is this appropriate at this time where he has not even identified the body of his son he's already thinking about making money out of him like tell me how is this okay please just make it make sense it is so unfortunate that a parent would be so conniving to this extent and that is if all the speculation is true. But for me personally, I was very heartbroken for the family that I actually missed all of this. But now that uh, I've come across it, I really think that Ujaki Pamosa is on to something. I think she's on to something. Well done for your vigilance, Ausi. This is a national tragedy. And for every family member, Waham Pulu and, um, and Bering. I think I'm speaking for the whole country when I say, please, 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 please help uh, the poor mom and the crane mom in every way that you can. Please be vigilant. Watch this with red eyes. You guys, please don't let it go. Please help that poor mother. She's just distraught. And this man is out here uh, not making sure. Seriously, he's not making sure. Please just help the mother and the grandmother as best as you can this is so sad you guys but i'm gonna end it right here i love you and i'll see you in my next one